Hello everyone, I'm really excited to be sharing a new feature in Pear Deck with you today. So this is Reflect and Review. I am going to be walking you through how to get started and what this all looks like. All right, so if you are in any Pear Deck, whether it's in student paced or instructor paced mode, it doesn't matter. When you press the end key, you'll now see a new screen that looks like this that says Reflect and Review. If you wanna generate the takeaways like you used to do where each student gets their own Google Doc, you can still do that by pressing this button right here. But now you will have the option to open, reflect, and review. And what you'll be able to do there is now you'll be able to go through the slides by student, student by student, and provide them feedback. So you can select the student you wanna start with here or here. So as you'll see, I can now go through all the slides for an individual student. So instead of having to go slide by slide, question by question, I can now just grade one student at a time and give them feedback. So say that I get to this slide and I want to leave them a comment, I can just go ahead and leave feedback directly here. I can type it in and then leave some feedback. I want to show you what this looks like from both the student end and the teacher end. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So on the left, I have the teacher view and on the right, I have the student view. And to get the student view, you just can copy the student link and then you can have students review their work. By the way, that copy student link you just copy that once and you share that with your entire class. You don't need to give each student their own link. It is just one link that when the student then signs in, they'll be taken to their own Pear Deck. So what they'll see is they can press review work and they would see their teacher feedback right here. So I haven't left any yet, but let's say they didn't complete the slide. So I could go ahead and see if the student needs my help on this slide. Maybe that's why they didn't fill it out. Can send feedback. And then the student would see, okay, I have some feedback that they can click on like this. And then they can go to the slide to be taken directly to that slide. And they could see what I wrote when they're reviewing that slide. And then maybe follow up with me in person. At this point, because we are in this reflect and review mode, students can no longer add anything. So they can't change anything on the slide anymore, which can make this a really great way of doing an assessment. But they could have that conversation with you afterwards. So let me go to a slide that the student did fill out. So then you can see, let's click again. Now go to this slide and I can see the feedback side by side with my answer. Of course, I have this slide a little bit small, but you know, if it was bigger, it would be easier to see. I can add more feedback if I needed to. And if I wanted students to be able to revise their work and kind of work on things again, what I can do is I can go back into the presentation and I can actually reopen the session. And as soon as I reopen the session, then you can see on the student end that now they can't be in the reflect and review mode anymore, but they can actually join the session again. And let me go ahead and put this into student pace mode. And because I put it in student pace mode, then students will still be able to see the feedback and they could now maybe go ahead and go to the slide and they could fill it out just like that. So that feedback is going to show up even when I reopen the session, as long as you put it in student pace mode. And then again, I can end it. Yes, I'm sure. And open reflect and review mode again. And now on the student end, they can't do anything from that link. You will have to give them the reflect and review link. And now they can review their work again. All that feedback is still there, even though they revised their slide. So now I can go back and see my updates. Again, if I go back, I can continue to leave any feedback and students will get that as soon as they open up the link. So for me, what 
I am most excited about personally is that this will provide me a way to easily go student by student so I can grade one student then go on to the next student just like this and go ahead and leave any feedback, grade the work, instead of if I open up my teacher dashboard, then I could open up the list layout, but I would have to go slide by slide. And so now with this reflect and review mode, I can go student by student, making grading so much easier when you wanna grade after the fact. I think that for me in the classroom, in real time, while we are talking about a specific question, I am going to want the teacher dashboard at this moment or just the projector view and kind of get a sense of how the class is doing on a specific question. But when I want to review things afterwards, what I'm really looking for is a way to go student by student to see how that student did holistically on the lesson. And so that's where this new reflect and review mode is going to come in really handy. And if you already have closed the session, how do you get back to reflect and review? There's two ways to do it. Open up the Pear Deck in your projector view or in the teacher dashboard, and then click on the three dots and you can just go to reflect and review right there, open it up again, or if you are in your Pear Deck sessions, then you can click on the three dots here and now you'll have this option to choose reflect and review. However, one thing to keep in mind is you do have to close the session in order for reflect and review to be available. So if you'll see, I have this one opened, I don't see reflect and review. The reason is because you have to first end the session. You can end it, look at reflect and review, you can always reopen the session, but as soon as you reopen that session, you see how now reflect and review is gone. So the only time you have access to that reflect and review is when you end the session and then it becomes available again. All right, I hope that this quick walkthrough was helpful. This is a brand new feature, so I look forward to exploring it more and thinking about more ways to use it with my students. The key is that you close the session, you leave any feedback that you want to, and then you give students this link. So all you do is you copy student link, and that link is one link for your full class. When students click on that link, because they sign into the Pear Deck, they'll get their own responses that they had left. That copy student link is the link for the entire class. All right, I hope this was a good walkthrough. I hope you're excited about using the new reflect and review mode in your classroom. That'll be it for today. Bye.